Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Warhawk Football. I'm your host, Sam Matheny, alongside head football coach for the Warhawks, Kevin Bullis. Coach, how was the summer with practices and what did you learn? Really, our, our fall camp started on August 10th is when we brought the guys back into camp. Um, very excited about them. Very excited about them. I mean, I think a couple things that we really learned about ourselves. Really excited about the um, development of our defense. And in all reality, we had an extremely young defense last year. And they played some very good ball. And uh, really excited to have all those guys that were freshmen that were playing for us, those guys that are sophomores that were playing for their first year. Really excited to see them, what they can come out of this fall, um, you know, coming into this season. They had a great fall camp. Um, really excited about um, Evan Lewandowski. Just um, Evan, the way he commands the field, the way he's commanded the team, and the leadership of, of what he does, and, and his ability, obviously, to throw a ball. I know a lot of people are fixated on some of the people we lost, but I'll tell you one thing, running back position, you know, watch out. Um, Jalen Edmondson had, had the best camp he's ever had. Um, we got a new addition with Mikhail Harn. Uh, we got Tamir Thomas back, who's explosive as all heck. You know, so, and, and just in general, I think some our offense, we're going to be faster than we were last year, which is saying something. Now you talked about a little bit about losing some players last year, but you have a great returning group as well. Who are you counting on to lead this team this year, in addition to Evan Lewandowski and Jalen Edmondson? You know, first you start out with our captains that are selected by the players. I mentioned Evan Lewandowski. He's one of our captains, just an amazing leader. Um, Tyler Holty, who's always been a great leader and, and really now being in a senior role of, of being able to really own that wide receiver room and, and lead that group and be a teacher and mentor in that, in that group as well. Um, you know, and, and also, you know, you got Egan Hine. Um, Egan Hine on the defensive side of the ball. He's a junior. And, and you look at a junior that's selected as a captain, that's really unique. That tells you really something about his skill level as a leader and the respect his teammates have for him. And I, and I bring up, um, you know, um, Strauss, um, Preston is Bre Preston Strasburg, I call him Strauss all the time. Um, Preston is an amazing leader, uh, really, even of that group. Um, he, he puts himself um, in a position to lead everybody on that team, even though he's a running back. I tell you, everybody looks at him on this team as, as a great leader. And then there's other people as well as Kyle Gallagher, Ryan Liska, you know, um, everybody in our team, are, are, we talk about are, are developing leaders. And, and uh, those guys are definitely the pinnacle of it. It's hard not to look at the September 10th rematch against Mary Hart and Baylor here at the Perk, but you guys have to focus on, like you've been telling me in the past, these practices and against the Johnnies. You know, um, our first practice was August 11th, and everything, and as I said to the players at that point, everything from this point forward is about St. John's. Everything's all about St. John's and getting ready for that first game of the season. I know I'll let the fans focus on Mary Hart and Baylor. That's great. They can focus on that. Um, but we've been focused on St. John's since August 11th. And for the coaches, um, you know, we exchanged film with St. John's back in early summer. Man, we've been focusing on St. John's since early summer. And, and they're an amazing program, amazing history. I, I grew up watching St. John's games as, as a kid and, and, and just the amazing tradition that they have there. It's really an honor uh, to be able to compete against a team like them and to go to do it in their own home because it's one of the funnest venues to, to play a football game in. Thanks for your time, Coach. We'll see you next week. Awesome. We'll see you then, Sam. This has been this week's edition of Inside Warhawk Football on UWW-TV.